I don't believe Adam knew how to name the animals. But his assignment brought out that creativity. If you want to find out what God wants you to do, establish your create, establish your assignment. Oh my God, help me somebody. And let, and let God show you what he's getting ready to do. Hey, come on. Let's turn to Luke 5 and 33. Oh, I feel good here today. Yes. Touch somebody says, you, you're going to get this today. You ain't going to miss this assignment. And you're going to miss this season. Okay. Yeah, all right. Read what it says. And they said unto him. What did he say? Why do the disciples of John mm -hmm. fast often uh -huh. and make prayers? That's what religious people do. That's the difference between kingdom people. Uh -huh. They're so excited about their spring, spring revival. Come on. And their fall revival. Uh -huh. They know in kingdom, they're not, you don't have that. You said order in the church, and we understand God. Come on, somebody. You ain't got to talk to me. Yeah. See, kingdom people, kingdom people are excited about what God says. Come on, God never preached there with two messages. <laughs> Repent. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Yeah. Now he does other things, but he only preached two messages. Repent, and the kingdom is at hand. Uh -huh. Are y'all like what I'm saying? Church people want to establish that they're better than you. Come on, and please, whatever you do, whenever you go in the church, you got a pillar there, don't move it. <laughs> please don't move that pillar. Ooh, <laughs> You'll be in trouble. Read what it says. And likewise, uh -huh. the disciples of the Pharisees, mm -hmm. but thine eat and drink. Uh huh. And he said unto them, What he said? Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast mm -hmm. while the bridegroom is with them? Mm -hmm. But the days will come mm -hmm. when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, mm -hmm. and then shall they fast in those days. Now, this is something real important. I don't really stay here, but I really could stay here a whole month Come teaching on. why fasting is more authoritative because Christ is left. Come on. The, the, the fast when Jesus was here was limited. Come on. Because he said, why do you fast when the, when the bridegroom is here? All right. He said, when you leave, when I leave, he said, a fast is going to really be something. Woo. Because you really fasting until someone that had left. Come on. To receive their spirit back. Yeah. Oh, my God. Help me somebody. That's two people up here. See, what happened to a lot of you is that sometimes it's good to have friends long distance. Because uh -huh. you can appreciate them better. Yeah. Come on. Hey. Because <laughs> if you ever had a, had a kid who come home. And stay with you a couple of weeks, and you were glad to see him. But you were glad to see him go. Yeah. Oh, hello, so At least I'm telling the truth. Yeah. I mean, because see, some people are more fine. You more found the people that's long distance. Come on, preacher. Boy, I'm getting amen. Y'all ain't saying amen. Amen. You looking all in my closet? <laughs> Trying to yes, find a way. Right. Looking at my oh, silverware. Yeah, oh, back in my back room, wow. looking through my. Look at this time, you to go. <laughs> you don't want your help out. Come on. I, I ain't got no. See, these women ought to say amen. God, no. Y'all know how jurisdiction y'all are. Y'all can't put you in the kitchen together and do anything. You move my fault. Come on, You going to help and move my fault. How you know that's your fault? Come on, preacher. We're not going to go home because I'm in trouble. Read what it says Luke 5 and 36. Uh huh. And he spake also a parable unto them. Uh -huh. No man putteth a piece of a new garment upon an old. Having a new season, what most people, the law, the law, write this down. The law of having a new season is not connecting it to the old. Oh. Ah, y'all get, y'all, y'all are excited. See, what messed up your last season of new season, you tried to connect the new season to the old. Come on, preacher. Look at somebody and say, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Because the sea, a new season, is designed to live alone. Come on, yeah. In a new mind. Yeah. In a new relationship. Come on. Yeah. It is you can't connect a new season with an old mindset. Come on, Christian. Oh, y'all, a, a, a new season with an old mindset will, will destroy a new season. Yeah. Uh, what's going to be a challenge for, for a new renewed faith is getting a new season in a same mindset. How about preacher? Woo, yes. Read what it says. If otherwise, then both the new make it they rent and the piece that was taken out. I never understand why when women go get a, a, a suits and outfits that they have everything new. I didn't understand it. 
until I got the real understanding of this scripture. Come on. Uh, they don't want to mess up the new with the old. Come on, <laughs> they they want to be dressed new from the top yeah. to the bottom. Because they don't want to attach the old to the new. Uh -huh. Come on, oh my God. Come I'm on. trying to help y'all women. Y'all ain't yeah. saying amen. I'm trying to get y'all to get a whole new suit. Y'all ain't saying amen. Oh my God. Lord, I was trying to work y'all. Yeah. Y'all at least say amen. I was trying to work the whole suit for you. Oh, at least women would have said amen. amen and you're talking to a man. A man don't look like that. He get a suit. He got some black shoes. <laughs> man, I'm going to run black shoes. I got a pair of black shoes. Man. I got a pair of blue. I ain't got to do nothing else. But one look at it. I got a blue suit. I need some blue shoes. All right. Been running a long. You don't connect the old with the new. Come on, preacher. Say amen. so. Say so, preacher. I better move on for that. Somebody must have had a couple of fights about it, and you and all this. We don't. <laughs> what it says? And the peace that was taken out of the new agreeth not with the old. See, he said, what, what happened is, he said, when you when you go into a new season, you're going to have to find new things to do. Woo, come on. You can't do the new thing. You can't stay at the football game come two on. hours and come to church and we'll get out now. Oh, Lord, have you, you can't come to church and give 50 cents and then want, want the pastor lend you two, lend you $30. Come on, preacher. Huh? All right. you, you have to change your mindset. Uh, when, when God broke the back of poverty in my, me and my wife's life, we gave a $2,000 check. Not at our church, at another church. That messed me up. Come on. I told God, stop me anytime you get ready. Stop me. <laughs> run over me. Run over me before I get to the offering. I mean, I don't mind to tackle me. I don't play tackle. Do anything you need to do before I get to the office. Stop me. Don't let me get there if you don't want me to get there. Come and it on. seemed like everybody had moved out of the way. I said, this ain't easy. Come on, <laughs> see, see, if you're going to go into a new season, you got to stop doing old things. Come on, Oh, y'all ain't here one of the you can't connect you to the old. Come on, pray. Read what it says, my son. Verse 37. What it said? And no man put a new wine into old wine. Oh bottles. my God. Right. Look at somebody says, stop putting new things <laughs> in old bottles. <laughs> stop putting new new season into old bottles. Come on, pray, child. Oh my God. Yes. Can you what bothers me so much is to watch God bless some people so good uh -huh. and watch them come back and start doing the same thing. Yeah, come on, for child. Uh, old stuff. Oh, old ways. Old attitude. Yes. Old feelings and emotions. Come some of y'all come out old dude, these old dead churches used to be in. Come on, for child. I'm going to say that again. Yeah. Give me a punch like These old dead churches, the only thing dead is the funeral home. Come on, for It stays there more than God does. Yeah. Come on, for child. The cemetery is the biggest thing about the church. Come on. I'm going to give you a revelation. Here we say revelation. revelation. If you go to a church and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, and over in the corner, th there is some spiders making a nest. And it ain't moved since the last time you've been there. Maybe you don't need to be there. Because somebody don't have creativity to go around looking at it. This don't look right. I know that's right. This, this should not look like the house of God. Come on, preacher. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. See, most churches have got... Oh, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone because some of y'all getting offensive. Come on, See, preacher. some of y'all still holding on to the old way you think in your old church. Yeah. And you're not in church no more. You're in the kingdom. Come on, preacher. And so, when, so when somebody tell you you got to come down here and clean up, well, I mean, call, I called you. Come on, preacher. <laughs> That's why you, I called you. Yeah. Are y'all ain't liking what I'm saying? See, some of y'all couldn't be under me. Come on. Listen, y'all, what God doing in heaven? Some of y'all tell me what God doing. Because I'm the spokesman of God. Yeah. So if God tell me to tell something to you, I ain't got to ask him what he said. You, he, this is he talking to you. All right. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Oh, yes. I ain't never seen so many people so busy when it comes down to the house of God. Yes, come on. So busy ain't doing nothing. I mean, I can see, can I talk to you? Yes. I can see if you're busy, the house is clean. You can tell it ain't clean because you're not going to do They said, one minute. Yeah. <laughs> So 
What the time are you not being at church? What were you doing when you weren't at church? Come on, preacher. Yes. Woman, what you been doing? You ain't that beautiful. Come on, preacher. Ain't much can help you right now. You just gotta go along with the flow. will never see the benefit of God because when God ushered them into another place, <coughs> they hold on to old stuff. Come on, preacher. Preach it. Yeah. And because they don't want to let go, they terminate their new. Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. Go ahead, preacher. Any of y'all ever had a new car? Raise your hand. That's all I had new cars? <laughs> Rip off, try this again. If I had you car. If you ain't never had it, it's you. I ain't talking about that when you're sick and still. I'm talking about you had somebody. It wasn't you to you. Ain't it amazing how when it was you, you took care of it? You wouldn't let nobody dirty it up? Ain't it amazing when God put us in a new season, we let the people that we don't respect or honor to come in our life and mess it up, contaminate it. You know, I don't know why he's telling you to do all that. I wouldn't. Hey, he's trying to run you. That sounds like a cup. Let me explain to you a difference between a cup and being obedient. A cup when you lose your will. Yay! Okay, let's go ahead, Roger, before we get it. What do you have to Jesus being talented? Do read? Else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. Look at somebody say, "What? How did that happen?" Amen. Other words, wine must be uh, must be slowly deteriorating. When you allow filth to be already in the bottle, it speeds it up, and the bottle cannot go through a pressure stage. Go ahead, preach out. And so when you have dirt already in it, hey. what it does is start deteriorating too fast. Come on. And it busts the bottle. Woo. Jesus. Go ahead, oh my go ahead, God. Some of y'all got to get rid of some of this mess in you. Yeah. If you're going to go into the next season, Woo. get rid of how you look at people. Yeah. Let them be people and you be Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the Bible calls us little Christ. Y'all don't know in your Bible. I'm a little Jesus. That's all I am. I'm a little Jesus walking around here with a bald head, light skinned. Hello, somebody. I, my, I don't know if y'all know this. My Jesus is not the one y'all got on the wall. If you read the Bible, he ain't got straight hair. He got curly hair. Look like wool. Oh, you need to read the Bible. See, read the Bible. You ain't got to worry about all these, all these mumbles, all these, all these, uh, all these, uh, these, uh, these. No, I ain't gonna go there. Come on, Because some of y'all might be Islam. The guy asked me, say, you don't even know what color Jesus is going. I said, I do. He said, you don't. I said, I do. He said, well, what color God is? I said, take all the colors and put them all together. That's what color he is. God couldn't give one, one race his color. Because he was multi -tactile. He didn't put them all together. When you, when you put all the Hispanics and the, the Mexicans and the black and the, and the white together, that's what color Jesus is. Now, what you got to say now? Go about your business, boy. You, you, you can't. You can't fight religious people with the word. You gotta fight them with intelligence that God gave you out of your creativity. Oh my God! You can't get them to talk to me. I'll mess them up every time. He said the white man gave us a religion. I said, well, at least he should have counted himself out when he made it. He should have gave us a religion he stuck into. Come on, preacher. When you make a religion to put people in bondage, you don't get in it too. Come on, preacher. Oh, y'all better back off me. If he, if I, I could see what you was talking about if he made a religion, gave it to us, and bondage us, and he was free. Come on, but he believed in Jesus too. Come on, yes, sir. A new season requires a new revelation of who God is. Once I see God differently, I see his creating differently. And I understand my principle of walking in a supernatural blessing. Now listen to this. Uh, can you help me with my demonstration? Could you please, sir? Come on, preacher. You know I'm a demonstration person, right? Come on, preacher. Amen. You know I'm a demonstration person. I believe in demonstration. 
a new season. A new season. How you doing, sir? You in a new season too? Yes, sir. We're here today to experience a new season. Everybody said new season. New season. What's, what's on my thing in there? What's on the front? New season? A new season. You season means you anointing. We got a new anointing for a new season. Oh, it's leaking. That means your mind hadn't changed. Come on. So even though you got a new season, right. if God don't hurry up and do something with your bad attitude, <laughs> with your bad attitude, I ain't gonna find fine. With your bad attitude, all that glory that God gave you, Come on, then you are you don't pay tithes. Come on. Oh. Got another leak? Can't get along with nobody. Come on, preach <laughs> New season. All this stuff that God gave you. Yeah. Don't agree with the pastor. Come on. Hallelujah. All this stuff God gave you, that gave you for your new season, because you don't have a new mind, Jesus. all this stuff is running out, Come and on. you're not going to be able to carry out your assignment yeah. before you run out of the new season. Come on, a new season Come on. is for your assignment. Yeah. And because you ain't got all these holes out of you. Come on, preacher. <laughs> Notice now, God required me to carry out the, a assignment with my new season. My so now I've been through so much hell. I'm ready to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do my assignment now, Sister Mewberry. But now this anointing can't handle. What I'm getting ready to come up against. Because I, what I've done, I've not passed these holes. But I felt like somebody done me wrong. I felt like somebody didn't give me the praise that I should have been. And so now I'm ready to go do what God says. And I have not the anointing to carry out this assignment. Ain't nothing wrong with God. Ain't nothing wrong with the devil. There's something wrong with you. Because you want to hold on to what people did to you. You want to hold on to how people treated you. You want to hold on to how people that left you and died and went on. You want to hold on to it. But look at somebody say, everybody going to die. He much. <laughs> you told yourself. Hey, Lord. Now, the powerful thing about it is, and some of you are so used to examining other people yeah. that you won't deal with yourself. Come on, great job. Amen. Ooh, yeah. You're so used to of being the, 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 13, the 13 examiner that you get to you have a hole in you won't check it. Ooh, come on, the problem great with job. church is church builds a requirement and they can't join. Come on, come on, great job. Okay, okay, I'm going to go. I got, I got another one. Before I get to you. Now, now listen to this, listen to this. L let's go to uh, a clean, where, where the next one is? Ecclesiastes. Okay, what it says? Three and one. What it says? To everything, uh -huh. there is a season. There, there, everything is what now? There is a season. Uh huh. And a time. Now, hold on, hold on, hold To everything is what now? A season. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, why are you so mean? You don't miss your season. Your, your, your season being mean was when you was one done saved. Come on. Yeah. This, and now you brought that mean season into your saved season. Yeah, come on, preacher. Your dishonest season was when you wasn't saved. You brought your dishonor in. Oh. You brought your holding season into your salvation season. And you wonder why you can't get any good stuff. Ooh, come on, preacher, my God. So now, everybody read with me. Everything that God does is a season. So why you come to all the crime by the same thing all the time? Come on. If you know it's a season. Yeah, come on, preacher. Jesus. The church, we can't get nobody saved for the saints being at all. Come on, preacher. Oh, yes. Pastor, I'm going to change. It ain't messing with me. Next Sunday, Pastor. 
<laughs> they mess with me. Next Sunday. Now it's a year and a half. We still going pastor. <laughs> they messing with me. I mean, it, it's a season, baby. Once you take once you accept the season, you ought to know it's gonna be hot. Yeah. You know you can't wait. You can't wait Ooh. winter stuff. Yes. When you know when, when you know summer coming in, you put up your winter stuff yes. because you know it's a season going yeah. on. Yeah. And sometimes time can act crazy, but you still when we know it's still in the season. Come on, break Y'all ain't saying amen. Come on, Read what it says. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. There's a time for what? Every purpose. Every person. Now, now let write this down because you ain't going to never hear no preacher teach this. Other words, season dictate time. Oh, come on. Time doesn't dictate season. Because he said everything is a time. It's a season and a time. Yeah. So it's got to be telling you that the, the Lord over time is a season. Oh. Look at somebody said, God looking for you to walk in this season. And when you know it's a season, don't change it. If God done told you prosperity is your season, walk in it. If God said you're healing, walk in it. I had to go to the doctor every, every time I meet. I had to go to the doctor and they were laughing at me when I, when I had lung. Uh, 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 what, was, what, what disease I had? I can't remember what it was. Psychosis. And they couldn't hardly breathe. They had to, I said, Doctor, how you doing? I said, I'm healed. And they go laugh. <laughs> I said, Don't worry, I'm gonna laugh last, y'all. <laughs> they coming next week, y'all laughing at me. How you doing, Miss William? Doing fine. <laughs> Went to Africa. Got sick in Africa. They had to ship me back on a stretcher. All right. So how you doing, Miss William? Doing fine. You on a you on a stretcher, and you still say you're fine. Yeah. I'm gonna see you. I'm not gonna let because my, my suit is acting up. Yay! Because my suit don't look straight. Does not mean it's not the ability to be straight. Woo! I have to keep on working on that suit till I get it back right. But I can't let the seat suit talk to me. So I kept on saying, don't get told in. I was going every, every, every two weeks. Then I went to every month. Then finally, I started going every three months. Right. Then I started going every six months. Ooh, now I'm going once a year. Right. What that tell you? The season unchanged. Hey. I ain't no joke now. Now my now my doctor going to school, going to church. <laughs> now my nurse going to church. Well, I last day God, I told them my season gonna change. I'm gonna be a walk a mile. I'm gonna be able to screech. Yeah. And they was trying to get me to get on disability. But they didn't know I was in a season of healing. Yeah. And, and plenty of times I would get up and preach and have to preach with a red towel. That's, right. That's what people not know how much I was bleeding. On, but look what God did. I got a black towel today. Right. You gotta know your season. And, and listen to this. Sometimes being in your season, you gotta get rid of them doubters. If you, if you know your Bible, the Bible said before Jesus could do a miracle, he had to kick some of them out. Get out! You and your mama, get out of here because he said, I can't do no miracle. Because y'all doubt what God does. But a lot of your problems is some people hang around. God ain't calling you to hang around. They're not going in the same direction. They are green dream killers. They're season killers. They're trying to stop you from being where God called you. Oh, look at somebody say, it's time to move on, baby. It's time to move where you used to be at. I was hoping Jackie be here. Once, one song Jackie could sing when he came to our church. I move out. Whenever Jackie sang, we know what she was going to sing. Because she was having that movement. I told her, stop moving. Stop setting line a little bit. <laughs> You're moving too much. Right. You gotta, you gotta be able. To, you can keep on moving. You can't enjoy yourself. Now touch somebody and say, you know what? I'm going into a new season I'm going and require a new mindset and a new set of people. Yes. Look, somebody said that because you go to church with, don't mean you gotta hang out with them. That just means we call to the same place, but not the same, same relationship. They don't cause you to be nasty. Come on, Come on, sir. Come on talk, sir. They don't cause you to be nasty. They said, "Why well, I'm not going in the same direction. Come on, somebody. Hey. Y'all ain't saying much. Come on, preacher. Let's, let's, go, let's go to a Genesis 2 and 20. I'm out to because y'all got to get back for the stone. Preacher, preacher. <laughs> Genesis 2 and 20, what it says? And Adam gave names to all cattle 
and to the fowl of the air. What did that, what Adam did? Gave names. He gave names to what? All oh. cattle. When you go into this next season, yeah. you got to know one thing. You got to ask God for your assignment. Come on, pray, child. Because your assignment is your creativity. Ooh, come on. God didn't talk to Adam but one time after he made it. Come on. About one thing, two things he talked about, but one thing he talked to him about. He told him to name the animals. Now, could could you see animals passing by? He, God ain't talking to him. He just told him a name. Come on. When God called you into a new season, he called you to be in your assignment. And by you being in your assignment, your creativity comes out. Come on, preacher. Adam's creativity to name all the animals huh? came out based upon him being in the assignment. Come on, preacher. When you're not in your assignment, you try to find cool places. Come on. And lie. Yes. Adam left being on the edge. Come on. And went to a cool place uh -huh. and lied. This woman you gave me. Uh -huh. No, I didn't give them to you. You gave them to yourself. You thought about the baboon having back. You, 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 oh, Father, help me somehow. If you look for, if a man looking for a woman, he looks for what he lacks. Come on, preacher. And if you give up, oh, nobody shut up. Come on, preacher. So Adam was there checking out all the animals and watching this element pass by. And notice he was kind of heavy in the back. And this baboon came walking by with them breasts. And he said, well, I want that too. And he started thinking about it. He said, well, y'all got to talk to me. He said, well, and this lion came by, slinging his hair. He said, I want that too. And so he, by him naming the animal, it created something in him. For creativity. On, so when God got ready, come here, come here, come here, son. When God got ready to make Eve, all he done is tapped in to his creativity. Right. And he made what he thought yeah. into what he needed. Come on, preacher. See, a lot of you don't understand. When you downrate your creativity, you lose your ability to create things Woo. that are not there. On, Look at someone and say, every believer. Have the, have the ability to create. To create. Amen. Yes. Ooh, yes. Now watch this. Don't worry, I ain't want you alone. <laughs> kind of, kind of, kind of, you know how close he got to me then? <laughs> like he was trying to handle me or something. <laughs> Everybody else noticed it. I went on with me. <laughs> you have to learn in your new assignment. In your new season, you won't have to have an assignment. Come on, man, I got you got to ask God what your assignment is. Ooh, Number one. Go ahead. A lot of y'all have problem being at renewed faith is because you joined like you did the last church, and 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 this ministry is asking for what assignment? Come on, preacher. Assignment will make you die for what you believe. Come on, Lord. hallelujah. Oh, you should be hearing your thing. Y'all need an assignment because time we asked you for sixteen dollars and forty two said what? <laughs> what? What are you doing with all that money? <laughs> well, I would have had more if I had to pay your light bill. Come on, preacher. See, creativity. This is what really blesses me. Is that I've learned the very knowledge of God that what I believe, what I walk in, I'll die for. Me and my wife, we believe what we do in ministry, we, ain't nothing we got we won't sell. Yeah, if it comes down to ministry. Because we know if we sell it, God will give us another one. <laughs> we don't like that. So y'all ain't like that. Whoa, I may have to get rid of my car. So what? Amen. I want to make Bobby anyway. Right. So you're going to have no clue what that is. Yeah. All you know is about fiat. That's all you know. Fiat and both ways. That's all you know. Y'all said, made back. I call it made bop. Or if I get one, it's bop. <laughs> Ain't made back, it's bop if I get one. I, I call it whatever I want to call it. Once I pay $350,000, I call it anything I want. I know that. Go ahead, preacher. And, I, and see, I some of your things, what, what are you doing? It ain't none of your business. If God's working out, when you drive your skateboard, I'm going to wave at you. 
Because you come to church with your problems oh, and you and you got them up sitting next to you yeah. and you don't want nobody to mess with them. Oh, <laughs> don't mess with them. Don't mess with people that hate me. Don't mess with people that lie on me. Yeah, this, I've been carrying this for a long time. It's a part of me now. Leave it alone. You know why I choose to be happy? Because my God still lives. A grave couldn't hold it down. I am in a new season. The eight mean you. Come on. It means complete. Hey. Oh, my God. Let me say. Let me move on before y'all get in trouble. Go ahead, let, 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 let's go. I'm, I, I got two more scriptures in there. Y'all can go home and do what y'all need to do. Go ahead, preacher. Y'all still worry about the song. Yeah. Isaiah 43 and 19. Say what? And none consider it mm -hmm. in his heart. Read. Neither is there knowledge nor understanding the same. Read. I have burned part of it in the fire. You in, you in uh, uh, 43? No. Where you at? Where you at? I showed him then. Some of y'all think y'all some of y'all been want to do the same people y'all I, I just got a chance to do it. Y'all know y'all want to be hit some people in the chair. You want to hit them? Oh, no. Now, if you turn around hit me, I'm running. I'm going to get behind somebody. I don't know who. Read what it says. 43 and Isaiah 43 and 19. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Behold, mm -hmm. I will do a new thing. Uh -huh. Now it shall spring forth. Tessa looking for myself. Hello, hello. Oh. Being in a new season, it don't happen suddenly. It don't happen a long time. It happens now. It's spring. If you're in a new season, you start seeing differences right now. Go home and see, and see your husband talking nice right now. Go home and look at your finances that turned around right now. Oh my God, you're coming with somebody. That, that's one thing about being in a new season. That it turns around immediately. Come on, preacher. Now you gotta work it out after that. Hey. But it turns around immediately. Come on, preacher. Yes. yes. Oh my God. You guys Any y'all ever been to a fish show? Yes. 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 Immediately you know you're in a fish store. Yes. You don't go in there to buy the smell. No. You go in there to buy the fish. Yes. But they throw in the smell. Oh yes. <laughs> When you when you had a new season, God throws in them quickly. He turned. So look at someone said, "Ooh, I'm looking for that." Ooh. I'm looking. They said, "Don't stop looking for it you, because it'll happen tomorrow." Look for it too. Look for it, Wednesday. Look for it, turn around. Look for God's blessing. I remember the time that you would have to talk me to the pulpit, but now I beat my arm to the office. Yeah. 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 Huh? Just yeah. somebody said, "Turn around real quick." I was at 379. Turn around real quick. All right. I can see my shoes now. All right, Ain't right. that a blessing? Hey. It's bad to put on shoes, but what color you got to get to church? Right. <laughs> you get to church, you get put on your shoes, and finally go back to the pool. That's blue and that's green. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good time to tell this. My wife was rushing me to go to church. Yeah. Let's rush me. Rush me. <laughs> So I went in and got me some shoes. We got New Jersey. So we were going to church. And, and I must have got somebody else's shoes. I wear a size 13 and these was 11. And uh, they just wanted me to go to church. I didn't want to look stupid. All right. I felt stupid, but I didn't look stupid. So I just pushed them on in there. And so while we was in service, I was saying, praise the Lord, hallelujah. They thought I was giving God praise. I was trying to give them some impression. <laughs> and finally, I fought it all the way through season two. I, I couldn't handle them. I said, forget about it. I'm going naked. <laughs> I'm taking all my shoes home. Hey. And the man said, man, God using you as in all the shoes in. <laughs> See, sometimes some things are too tight for you. Yeah. And that tells you that God has made you grow past that. Yeah. But because you're so stuck in a certain way, yeah. you keep putting on yeah. tight stuff. Look for God to bless you in tight stuff. Take it off, baby. Yeah. 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 God 
God sent you that name, he ain't going to send you because how you shape. How about he going to send you because God sent you. Yes, come on, praise God. Amen. Yes, sir, you better preach it. Oh, y'all don't hear one. A new season. Everybody say a new season. Needs a new mindset. A new mindset. <laughs> Ooh, yes, sir. Can you do that? You, you read, can you read for me? Yes, sir. Come on. Are you Behold. Ready? You mad? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> Behold, I will do a new thing. Uh -huh. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. Listen, this shall make a way. Look at somebody say, oh, I see way made. I did, I, I did, I did, I did some of y'all together and say, well, I see my way made. I see my way made. Made. Hallelujah. <laughs> I see God bringing me out of this, this slump finance. I see uh, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> now, you got to watch yourself. You better tell them that. Like God going to do something. You don't watch yourself. God can't stand you getting up by faith and believe something going to happen. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. I see God making a way. Pastor, I see God making a way. Hallelujah. I see God bringing nimbus in. <laughs> hey, you just got to stay in the way. You just got to keep doing what God says. I see my children getting saved. I'm staying in the way. I see God making the way. I see God opening that shop. I see God writing that book. I see God doing some great things. I see God giving me another job that I can take care of myself. Okay, let's go to Ephesians. Go ahead, hold it. Go ahead, preacher. Go ahead, preacher. Go ahead, preacher. Oh, I feel good. Go ahead, preacher. Oh, I see somebody get ready to come in some money. I see somebody leaving here healed today. I see somebody getting an advancement in the kingdom. Ephesians 4 and 23. Come on, man. What it says? And be renewed. Be renewed. In the spirit of your mind. Not your mind. But the spirit of your mind. Yeah. That's two different things. That's right. <laughs> having a new mind means the thinking capacity. Come on, yeah. Having a new spiritual mind, Ooh. having a mind to think like God. Yeah. Oh, what will God do in this situation? What will God do? When God, when God got to the Red Sea, what would he do? Come on. What would Jesus do? What would God do if he got to the Red Sea? What would Jesus do if somebody was sick? No, he wouldn't. He said, be thou made whole. Because whole is healing. Come on. Come on, man of God. See, we think different than God does. You got to start thinking like him. God wants me to be blessed. See, some of y'all got to pray to find out. I know this. That God wants me to be blessed. God don't want me to be the tailor. God just kept on starting up. He want me to be the head. Yes, God don't want me to be poor. He may want, He may try to prove something to you, but God don't want me to be poor. Oh my God. God don't want me to be sick. I may go into a half to be sick, but it's going to be his. I'll be all right after a while. Because I'm in a new season. Go ahead. Now, I'm a farmer. I come from a farmer family, but that was in the, I'm a different kind of farmer now. I don't want to go back and do anything. But mom, Mom and them used to go out there and plant watermelons and cantaloupes, and the next day they said, they looking good. <laughs> what you see? She said, I'm looking at the condition of the ground. If the ground is firm and the seed is firm, when both of them get together, they're going to bring forth the heart. If your heart is right, and I know the word is right, if I get both of them together, oh my God, it won't be long. Oh, it won't be long. I can't say, but it won't be long. It won't be long before everything I'm going through get turned around. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, who going to get the last laugh now? You laughed at my old regular car. You laughed at the house I was staying in. You laughed at the clothes I wore. But who going to get the last say when God turns the things around? Who going to get the last say? You laughed at me when I was sick. You laughed at me when I, when I was taking care of pastor. And all I had was $10. And you went up with your 50 thought you were doing something. But look at me now. I can give 100. 
Are you still at 50? So what the God that does? God bless the cheerful giver. Not the giver, but the cheerful giver. The one that want to give. That want to get God's attention. I had a daughter call me the other day. She said, hey, Chief, I make a commitment to you. Everybody I know, you will know. I don't have people do me like that. Every time I have, I have people want to take my members. They don't want. They don't want to use the member they got. Come on, preacher. They want to come take my member. Yeah, right. You know what? And I understand why they want mine. Cause mine is more more anointed than them are. They are. They can fight this stuff out of a wet bag. They don't know about demonic spirits. Uh -huh. Come on. They don't know about witches. Yes. They don't know about warlocks. Come on. Jesus, glory to God. Test my says, It's your season. So what you gonna do with it? Like you did like the last time? Mess up a good season because your auntie? Come on. Mess up a good season because you, you still stuck on or you have it of smoking cigarettes? Come on, Bridget. Are you still going to be slow for when Chief tell you, when the professor tell you to come to church, you're going to make all kinds of excuses? All right. Amen. This was probably the lesser day I've ever had in my church. Come on. I, I never know what 80 people look like. Come on. I have 80 people for Bible study. Come on, preacher. But you know what I told them the today? It's not my battle. Come on. The Bible said the battle is the law. Yeah. Once you take ownership of the battle, he don't show up. Come on. He shows up when you give it to him. Yes. Come on, preacher. He's going to say, a new season, baby. A new season. A new season. I still ain't got it. I still ain't got some new season, new season, new season, new stuff, new things, new outlook, new season. Yeah. Now, what gonna mess y'all up is, is that if some of you don't get right here at at, at this ministry, mm -hmm. God gonna move you out of your position oh, God. and send somebody in. Hallelujah. God don't have to send people from Allendale. Uh -huh. He should send them all the way from Chicago. Oh, yes, See, God, God is a God all over the world. Uh -huh. He's not only for you. Wow. Yes. Just like that, new season. Just like that, you got to, one thing you got to do is stop connecting the old with it. Yes. I was talking to one of his sons on yesterday, and I said, I had to make a decision. Uh, this is when I got a new season, is that, that, that when, I hate to tell this again, because it's making me look bad, but it's making God look good. Come on, preach out. Every Tuesday night, Church of God in Christ, Church of God in Christ have Bible study on Tuesdays. Tuesday nights was when they bowled. I had 185, 190 average. All I needed was two more points. All right. And I could turn pro. Mm -hmm. right. And I, did, I was saved, but that wasn't was my important thing I wanted. Wow. I wanted both of them at the same time. All right. And so I kept lying to my pastor okay. that I was doing something. And I wasn't later lying. I was doing something. <laughs> <laughs> And I was doing some, and it got to the point where I was doing it three to four times a week. I was at bowling more than I was at church. All right. Then one night, God brought an old fat man. I ain't seen him since. <laughs> Couldn't even tie his own shoes. Oh, we had to put his shoes back on. Jesus. And he says, you know, the problem with you is that y'all got two gods, and you ain't in love with the other more than you are the one that you oh, need. All right, all right. Didn't catch that. Let me go back there. He said, you got two lovers. Uh -huh. And you're loving both of them, but you're loving one that you don't really need. Come on! The one you really need is that you don't want to own him because you got to give up so much. Yay! God rebuked me so bad that day. Mm. I told Pastor, I said, I'll be back. I went that morning, went that, went that afternoon, and, 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 and I had three bowling balls, two, two pair, pair of shoes, <laughs> coach the match with the bag, <laughs> shoes the match, and I had to give up all that. My God. But I told this person, I said, because I choose, because I was a people person. Oh, God. Most people that get saved that are a people person, they jockey between making people happy Come on, right and making God happy. Come on, right. preach out. Right. And so that day, when I made that choice, my season changed. Ooh, hallelujah. We, we got out of rent being a written. We, we, we didn't have to rent no more. We didn't have to stay in, in, in. We moved from out of right. a, a, a rental property into a rental house. Come on. Come we moved on. out of a rental house into our own house. Come on. We moved out of a, a one house and get and bought another house, bought more land. What happened? Because I stopped being committed to God. Come on, Chris. Some of you today gonna have to make a choice between the old and the new. Yeah, come on. You can't call it a new season if you're still holding on to you. Come on, Chris. Oh. Come on. Thank you.
Okay, so. Could you give me a little music? Because they don't cut me off. When I married my wife, I had numbers. When I married her, she didn't know nothing about the numbers. But when I married her, I wouldn't know how to be happily married to one person. So I took all the numbers that I had. Because I was only going to have relationships with one person. These people didn't tell me to take the number. It's the choice I made. I'm asking you today, are you still going to keep the numbers to complain? Are you going to keep still make the numbers or worry? Are you going to keep them numbers? Are you going to keep the number, keep, keep judging other people? Come on. Once I did that, I could, I could give all my love to my wife. There is no other woman in this world that I love any more than her. Because I got rid of the number. And when you get rid of the number, the other person don't even know you got them. All right. And they're able to do. But it's going to have to be their choice. Oh, yes. I don't even know what I got in my checking account. Hey, that's something. Ooh, hallelujah. If you ask me how much money I got, I don't really know. Ask Jennifer. Oh, God. Why is that? Because if I did, if I never taught these numbers, I would never trust her. Come on. Tang up this number told her that I'm ready to be committed to you in this season. Hey, now, listen to this. Oh, now, this is something we don't teach about, and I hope I hope help you. And then a lot of people, I want you to shout. This didn't play out like I had in my mind. Come on, preacher. I see y'all running all across the floor, but it didn't play out like I thought. Ooh, hallelujah. He says, well, tell me what kind of season I have. He asked David that. David said, listen, he told him about the good season and the bad season. He said, store up this good season. The problem is that you don't always have good new season. And you got to be able to benefit from your new season. Ooh, hallelujah. Hey, can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. I've learned how Deuteronomy 30 and, and, and 15 and, and, and 19 tells us that he said, choose today. I set before you death or life. You got to choose. Even though some situation is bad in your life, you got to know that God chose yes. what's best for you. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, I can say he'll tell you about healing from the top of my head to my body. I can tell you about high, high tension of lung. I can tell you about having, having lung problems. I can tell you about back problems. I can tell you about all kinds of things. But I kept believing God. Yeah. My church can tell you. I never shot. When people walked out of my life, guess what I said? Bye. <laughs> you gotta stop letting people change your season. Yeah. Pastor yeah. David, we got there today, and I told him about agreement. And I told him, and he told him to walk around the wall seven times. He didn't say that they walked, they, he said they walked around the wall seven times. He was talking about him. And I told him when he first started out, you can't prove to me in scripture that all of them with him when he first stopped walking. All right. All right he might have went around most of the first time by himself. Right. Then three more got with him. Right. But I know the last time they walked around, I know how many was there. Right. All of them was there. Sometime when you start walking, everybody ain't gonna be with you. Come on, break down. And you gotta walk by yourself to show God. Yes. That I'm gonna do what you tell me to do. Yay. Oh, come on, somebody. You gotta walk and show God yes. a new season. Everybody said new season. Now don't go crazy buying crazy stuff. Have going to the left and like that and all that stuff. stuff. Yeah. Woo. That new season. Glory to God. New season. God told me when one of my daughters got this appointment from in Florida, he told me, he says, on 9th and 10th, the 9th, no, the 8th and 9th, when it was being right. We're right. 8th and 9th, when it was big, right to the right, it was big. 7 8. He told me, he said, 7 8, when a clock run, he said, I'm going to start back taking you to the nation. Oh, God. A lot of people don't know that I used to fly all around. Hey, but I, I gave up that to come back to take care of my church. All right. God says, because you did that, on the 7th and the 8th, 
I'm gonna start a new point right away from you. He said you're gonna turn down more engagement than you want to have. God will never let you do something for him that he won't do for you. Come on, come on, man. I'm saying this and I'm sitting down. I'm gonna get your prayer and I'm sit down. How y'all look at the moon? When the moon was in front of the sun. You see that? Go to Acts 2. And, and, and 20. Y'all didn't know what happened. A clock started happening. The, Joel talked about this clock. Joel talked about when the moon and the sun to hide. He said, that clock started. You ain't see his tragedy. That's why you see three of my, you ain't see it. But that's the most finest time for the believers. Right. God will pour out his spirit on, on the believers, the sons and daughters, the, people, the kids that you've been trying to get saved, they're going to come in now. Because that clock started running. Yeah. Where all the prophets at now? Where all the teachers at teaching me? Why they didn't know that? Why they didn't know what God had started? Why are you up there looking up? God said, I'm going to make you look up. Yeah. You was looking up, not knowing that you were not looking at the moon. You were doing what God said. If y'all ever have, everybody going to look up and see. It's soon to come. Oh, it's a new season. Yeah. I knew. I just need people to come and agree that God's going to bless us. Oh, yeah. Everybody stand. Oh, yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm. Could you give me just a little bit more volume? Thank God for all you coming. I'm gonna thank God for you coming. You had to be here today. You could have been Huh? She's not a part of our church, per se. God blessed us so much this morning. He gave a hope. You don't get what I'm saying. What do you do when you don't have no hope? You hold on. What do you do? What do you do? You get around people that got hope. This place didn't look like it would be when my wife came down here the first time. Didn't look like this. Look nothing like this. But I had to keep pumping hope in her down. I had to keep telling, don't look at what you come. Don't look, don't look at what people are saying about you. Don't look. I had to keep telling them. Like he looked at me and said, TV, you don't understand. I'm just struggling paying bills. Don't, don't, don't look at it. Don't, 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 don't look. Look at God. Look at what God said he's going to do. Don't, don't. Because well, see, it's not about the people. It's about God. God going to send you people that got your heart. Because you was my heart. And God won't take a heart away from you and not give you another heart. Now, what I'm asking you today, if you're ready to go into your new season, I want you to meet me here.